Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video. Today we'll do another episode of checking out your guys' solar systems. And now, I believe this is episode 20. So wow, we've done 20 of your solar systems now. And honestly, I don't think I plan to stop since you guys really, really enjoy this series. So just a massive, massive thanks for obviously watching the videos, of course. And also, um, for everyone who subscribed recently, a massive, massive thanks to you. And let's just keep that sub number going up since we're not really near any big milestones now. So, yeah, let's just keep it going up. So, yeah, <laughs> subscribe if you haven't already, of course, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, today we're taking out another system from Cyrus Place. So, yeah, before we get into that, if, before we get into that, guys, I just want to mention that... Um, for this series, if anyone who isn't aware, this is where you guys send me solar systems that you have created and I check them out in a video. And also, if you have one to send in, then obviously send me a link to download it in the comments of these videos. Please only send your systems in these videos because this is where I come to get systems that you guys have sent. So if you post them on other videos, I will not take them. So please only post your systems in these videos. So yeah, I just want to get that out of the way, but yeah, let's begin. So yeah, today we're checking out a system called the Centaur system, I believe is how I pronounce this. Yeah, I'll leave a link to um, Cyrus Blazer down below. He's the one who created this. So this is what we have today. Okay, so the first planet we have here is E. No, 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 no. What am I doing? No, we check the star first. We always check the star first. But that one does look pretty cool, so I'm interested to see it. Okay, so this is our uh, main star today. So it's looking a little smaller than the sun, sort of Alpha Centauri B sort of size. So if we just get a look here, she may be a little smaller than Alpha Centauri B, but Alpha Centauri B is there. So yeah, around that sort of size, there's the sun, obviously, compared to it. And then Proxima Centauri is there, so... Yeah, not the biggest star, obviously, but not the smallest as well. So, there is that. I think the smallest star is... Do I have it? Do I even have it saved? I know I have it somewhere. Let me see if I can quickly find it. Smallest star is... Come on, game. Where is it? Um... Damn it, I can't find it. Um, where'd it go? I can't remember what it's called. Oh, I'll have to find it another time. But, yes. Yeah, oh, it's this one here. There it is. This is the smallest star. So, yeah, this thing is... Um, not too bad in size. So yeah, this is Centaur. It's got a luminosity of... No, um, luminosity is 0 0.2 suns. Okay, so about 20% of the um, light brightness of the sun there. Okay, so there is the first star. So next up, oh, the, oh, I think that's the only star. Yeah, it looks like the only star. So yeah, next up, we've got U, U, Uramin. I think that's how you say that one. So, okay, it's a um, little smaller than Saturn, as we can see here. Obviously, it may have a little more in mass, actually. But yeah, there it is. But I want to quickly see what color it is. Okay, so it's just a regular sort of colour one. But yeah, there it is below. So yeah, obviously that thing's going to heat up pretty quickly since it is quite close. We will use the Hathwell zone on the star as well just to see how far it stretches out. Okay, so it stretches out into this area like that. We've got quite a big system to check out as well. Okay, cool. So there is that. Okay, so let's see what is next. So next up we've got Centaur C. Okay, and wow, whoa, what atmosphere colour is that? Wow, look at that. So I think that is a Venus atmosphere, but the clouds have been, or the thickness of the clouds has been lowered. So that's quite a cool colour. I may actually save this as a template to use because that's quite a cool, interesting atmosphere colour. That I'm sure that is a Venus atmosphere. Let me just um quickly um let me see here. Yeah, I believe it is a Venus, but let me quickly compare it to Venus, um, for instance. So there's Venus there. Yeah, I believe they are the same colour. Um if you just put this to about 550 or 600 maybe is that oh damn it game can i can i put you to 600 come on 600 is it gonna and i can't see you through the clouds so the oh well oh well. yeah because usually when you heat it up the clouds do get thinner but yeah i'm pretty sure that is a venus atmosphere so pretty pretty interesting um atmosphere color there definitely like it so there is that so Okay, it's mostly made of iron. Okay, um, similar in Earth, similar to Earth. Sort of got the temperature of Mercury. So this is sort of like a Mercury Venus sort of mix, since it's quite large and it's got like the same sort of temperature Mercury would have. So there is Centaur C. Next up, we've got Centaur C B, and this is a tiny little minor object, and it's actually a little Mercury. Oh, look at the little baby Mercury. So yeah, it's a tiny little Mercury here. Very, very nice indeed. That's also a very, very small moon. Okay, very, very nice indeed. Uh, next up, we've got Centaur D. Okay, so this is a pink one. Okay, let's see what we've got here. So, no atmosphere here, but very, very nice mix of pink and, like, a pink and the orange sort of yellow colour here. So, very, very nice mix indeed. Um, similar to Earth and Mass and Radius. Similar composition. L Earth similarity is 88, but no life here since it has no atmosphere. So, yeah, there is Centaur D. It's quite hot here as well, 32 degrees. Okay, so it sort of reminds me of, like, a hot version of Mars almost. So, yeah, there is that. Next up, we've got Centaur 
Oh, excuse me there. We've got Centaur DB. So this is just a little um, asteroid, as you can see there. Then we've got Centaur DC, and that is a very nice blue indeed. So there you um Centaur DC. It's um, similar sort of size to the moon there. Nothing too big. So, yeah, that is that. Very nice blue. I really do like that blue mixture, though, the white there. That's looking pretty nice. Um, next up, we've got Centaur DD. Oh, and this is a yellow one. Oh, wow, that yellow looks really good. Now, look at that yellow. Now, that, I'll compare that to my yellow template one. Now, that yellow is a lot, lot brighter. Now, that is a, I really, really do like that yellow. Here's my yellow. This is, this is the naturally spawning yellow. This is what you get. So, you get a yellow like this. So, looks like I may have to have a race yellow now. I may actually use this as a template, because yeah, this, this to me would still be yellow. That is definitely yellow. But this one here, Centaur DD, I'd say this is like a race yellow, like a lot, a lot brighter yellow. I really, really like that atmosphere. That is a, definitely a thumbs up for me. That looks really good. I really, really like that colour. Hope you don't mind, but I do really want to use that in my um, custom object series. Now, that yellow looks absolutely amazing so if, um yeah i'll probably you'll probably see this in season two since season one's um coming to an end now i've only got one more episode of that coming up so yeah that is centaur dd very very nice indeed i really do like that okay next up we've got um peren and it looks like a yellow venus oh wow oh look at that now that looks pretty good as well i definitely like that it sort of reminds me of when you put venus near like a um red star you sort of get something like this but that's a normal yellow Venus. That, I really do like the colour of that. That is a very, very cool planet indeed. And it sort of is similar to Venus with the temperature as well. Well, it's actually a little colder than Venus, but it's still sort of a similar sort of um, composition and look to Venus. But yeah, that that is a very, very cool yellow indeed. I really, really like these modded objects. Okay, so that is Perrin there. Okay, next up we've got Eve. So this is the one we saw at the beginning. And this is going with the magenta atmosphere colour. So looking good. That's a very nice magenta, I have to say, but it's quite similar to mine. I'll, I'll, let's just get a comparison with it as well. So here's my magenta. So there it is there. So this one actually looks a little brighter. Okay, so I may have to have even more templates, but yeah, that is definitely a brighter magenta. So there's that. But yeah, if you don't mind, I wouldn't mind actually using these in the custom object series. But yeah, look at that. That's a very nice um, magenta sort of pink colour there. Very, very nice. So that's just a look of it below. So it's mainly an ocean world, as you can see there. 24 degrees. Um, it is, yes, pretty much an Earth in mass and radius. Very, very nice. It's got an 86.7 life likelihood and a 97.4 Earth swing That's one of the highest we've seen in the whole series. So pretty cool. But if any of you guys can get 100% on any of these, or, or close, in the ni like 95 and above for life likelihood, set, please put it in a system, because I'd really like to see something above 95 for life likelihood. Or if, if 100 is even possible, because I don't know if it is or not, but... Yeah, 95 and above. See if you can get that, because that'd be quite cool to see. So, yeah, if anyone um, has a really, really good life like a planet, slip it in the system and send it to me at some point, because that'd be very cool. Okay, next up we've got Gilly. So this is just a tiny little uh, minor object, as you can see. It looks like, I think that's a Vesta um, little object there. Then we've got another moon called El Alavent. Uh, Elevent, Elevent, is how you say it. So, yeah, it's also going with a pink and purple sort of mix here. It's very, very nice indeed. It's also got a bit of blue there as well. Or indigo, violet, almost. No, that's, indigo. that's more of an indigo, but very, very nice as well. Okay, okay, who have we got next? So, next up we've got... Um, no, that's a moon. We need to go to the main planet. Can I, can I go on the main planet? Okay, so it's... Um, ba Bacusta, I think it's... Ba Bacusta, Bacusta, so... That's there, is it there? And wow, I really like the mix of blue on that. That's a very, very nice blue. So, there's it below the clouds there. So, there's a good look of it. We'll go on flash out mode just to get a whole look of it. So, oh, that is a very nice planet. Definitely like that. If it had climate mode, it would probably look even better, honestly, with the North Pole. But yeah, very, very nice object indeed. Let's check its stats quickly. Oh, 94. Oh, they're very high stats. Look at that. 96.7 and then 93.4. So, very, very high. Let's actually just compare that to Earth quickly. I just want to see, what is Earth's life likelihood? Is it 100 or... Okay, it's 99.5. If anyone can top that, can you? is it possible to get higher than that? Any, let me know in the comments if you know, but can you get higher than that? If anyone can get a planet, or even the same as this, if you can get 99.5 or just 99 in general, please send me that planet because I would really like to see it in the system. But yeah, very, very cool. So this is a very, very hatable planet then. So there it is there. So it's a nice, a stable sort of 20 degrees. This would be sort of the temperature I'd like. 
um, since I'm not really a fan of too hot, but that's not too cold either, so yeah, it's a pretty nice um, temperature there for me, so yeah, that is a very nice blue, though. I really do like that one. Okay, next up we've got um, Sal Salib, I think how that say that one, so it's sort of like a, a brownish sort of Mars lookalike, looking um, pretty, pretty nice mixture of browns and creams here, it's like a chocolate sort of planet, but yeah, it's a pretty cool um, little moon there, very light, they're very, very nice. Okay, so there is that. Okay, next up we've got Ratas. Oh, oh, look at this. Now that is a pretty funky gas giant. Look at that. I really like that. That's a very, very cool mixture indeed. What do you guys think of that? That's probably one of the coolest custom gas giants we've seen in a while. Look at that. That's, that is very nice. Definitely a thumbs up for me on that as well. That is a very, very cool. It's going to be very hard for me to pick a favourite in this um, episode, I think, out of all the objects. But yeah, that is Ratas. Very nice. Oh, and then we've got Nasty Ski. Of course, this object's going to show up. I thought it would in one of your systems eventually. The most common random spawn planet. <laughs> Nasty Ski. Well, have you said Nasty Ski? How do you want to say it? So, yeah, there it is here in um, a moon form. So, there's a whole look of it. So, it's all frozen here. So, it's like a Europa sort of moon. Also, we're going with the similar theme of the gas giants. It's got a green blue theme going on, like that. It's got realistic mode as well. So, very, very nice. Let's get a view of the gas giant. Look, look at this. Just turn around here. Look at that. Imagine seeing that in the sky. That is a very funky planet indeed. Really, really like it. So there's that. Next up, we've got Unos. So this is a... Um, oh, this actually has water on it. Okay. So this probably has quite a high atmosphere. Yeah, it does. 5 ATM. And it, yeah, it doesn't reflect any lights. This absorbs all the light it receives from what light it gets since it is quite far as well. So there's that. Um... Oh, it's got a 92.1 Ursa Mati. Not too bad. Then it's got 22.7 life light. Good. Okay. Not too bad. 15 degrees. Okay. Quite similar to the last planet then with temperature. Okay. Next up, we've got Eubonus. So this is going with a white atmosphere. Okay. Very cool. Um, sort of completely frozen snowball sort of world here. It's got light blue, white planet going on. Very, very nice. Little frozen. That That is probably closer to Europa than the first moon we saw. This one here. Actually, no, they're just a, actually, no, they're both pretty similar. Um, this one is a little warmer in temperature, though, so there is that. So, yeah, very, very cool little gas giant system there with the moons. Okay, next up, we've got Eric. Now, this looks like a custom, as you know, I think that's a random spawn. It looks like a random spawn, but not a bad random spawn. Honestly, all orange with, like, a cream sort of top. That's, that's a pretty good random spawn, if it is one, of course, but there it is. So, it's also got a ring system. Okay, very cool. So, there is a ring system. It also has a moon called Mole. Okay, so all very all orange and white. Very interesting theme. Let's get a full look of that. That's quite a nice rocky planet, I have to say. Very, very cool colour theme going on there. Okay, there is that. Next up we have got Eubonet. Eubonet? I think that's how you say that one. This is also oh, and also sort of Europa, sort of instead of this sort of world, all frozen over. So there is that. Okay. Next up we've got um how am I going to pronounce that? Niska cipher. Nitsis. I can't say it. <laughs> whatever this pronounces to. Nit. I'm not saying it again. Yeah, whatever that pronounces to. We've got this one here. So there it is. So there. So it's just another frozen sort of Europa planet there, or Europa moon. Sorry. Okay. There is that. And then next up, the last planet is Curio. So this is um, gas giant all the way out here. Also looks like a random spawn, I th I'd say. Uh, looks like a random spawn. Pretty good random spawn. It's mostly all white there, so very nice indeed. And it's got a moon called Aku. Ooh, nice mixture of colours there. Look at that. Ooh, yeah. That actually reminds me of one of the objects I made the live stream. Um, let's just... Actually, no, I don't have it saved, actually. It's still in that simulation. But, yeah, I sort of made, like, a magenta version of this. Instead of being blue, it was yellow... Or it was purple magenta colour mixed with yellow and a purple atmosphere. It looked pretty similar to this, actually, with the, but just purple instead of blue. But, yeah, this is a very nice object. Like, it looks like a... Yeah, it's a light blue standard atmosphere as well. So, very, very nice indeed. Next up, and I think this is the last object, is Di Dissia V. So, also going with a blue theme. But it has got three degrees here, and it also absorbs all the light it receives. So, even this far away from the star, it still can't get that little bit of light to get above the zero degrees but it is cooling down as you can see there so it probably can't actually sustain it so there is uh, and that's in the minuses so how far away is this we are 7 AUN this thing's orbit's getting bigger look is this orbit thing wobbling doesn't look like it but pretty weird okay but yeah this um gas giant is the furthest object it looks like but we will zoom out just to see if there's anything hidden out here so 
There it is, but I don't think there is. Okay, so that is it for the Centaur system. So a very nice mixture of planets. Let's get a full line up there of everything. Oh, this is going to be quite hard to pick a good planet or my favourite one out of all these. There's a lot of good stuff. Well, obviously for gas giants, this one has it in the bag. This is the one of the coolest gas giant colours I've seen. The blue and green looks amazing on it. So there is that. Okay, so let's go to the Rockies. Oh, this is a very hard choice because... This one looks good. I really do like that Venus sort of um, colour there, but with the atmosphere thin. And this magenta one also looks really cool. Then the yellow Venus, that is also very, very nice. And then the little yellow one all the way down here as well. Really like that yellow, I have to say. Oh, it's a very hard decision. So yeah, best gas giant is that one, but best planet overall. Oh, I don't know. This is a very hard... I mean... For colour-wise, this is my favourite one. I think I'm going to go with this. I really like that yellow. That looks really cool. I, but yeah, I'm, but I'm calling it, This is my favourite planet in the whole system. That yellow atmosphere is literally a beauty. This is very, very cool. No, no, it is without the clouds. But it still looks really good without the clouds. With a bit of water, this could look really good. Let's just, let's just have a little play of it, just to... Oh, look at that. Okay, so we can add a bit of water on there just to get a look of what it would look like with water. The clouds aren't loading up, sadly, but if I do this. Oh, no, it's losing material. Oh, it's, oh, the atmosphere went, but yeah, that does suck so if we add it back. But, oh, there's the clouds. Oh, yeah, look, we got it. Oh, that looks beautiful. Look at those clouds, man. That, let's just get a bit of land showing as well. But can we get it? Oh, look at that. Oh, that looks so awesome. Okay, I really do like that. <laughs> but yeah, this is my favourite planet in the whole system, I'd say. So, oh, it's a beauty. Wow, that looks really, really cool. So yeah, there is um, Centaur DD. That is my favourite in the whole system. But yeah, there we go, guys. That is all of the Centaur system. So yeah, let us know what you thought down below. I'm pretty sure um, Cyrus players will be interested to see what you think on his system. Because this is a very, very unique and interesting system. Definitely really like the modded planets in here. That is very, very cool indeed. But yeah, that is everything, guys. So if you haven't already, subscribe if you're new. Helps on the journey to 4,000 subscribers now. I can't believe I'm saying that. Wow. Yeah, so obviously a massive thanks for 3,000 as well, guys. I've already said it multiple times. But yeah, I just want to say it again. Just a huge, huge thanks for 3,000. It's absolutely amazing. Just cannot thank you guys enough. And yeah, let's um, hope we can keep going. Because see how big we can get the channel, I guess. Because it's going well so far. So... Yeah, that is that. But yeah, just a huge thanks um, for everyone, of course, who watches the videos. Or even just spends a few minutes watching the videos. Just a huge thanks to you. But yeah, that is everything, guys. So make sure you all have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.